question number 12 it comes from the third passage in this paper and the passage is about the German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche now in this passage the author's tone towards Nietzsche is a bit ambiguous he starts with a description of Nietzsche's um, views on Christianity or how he was anti-Christian the author describes it in the first two paragraphs and the last paragraph the author indirectly takes a dig at Nietzsche because uh, he refers to those writings where Nietzsche sounds absolutely narcissistic narcissist means somebody who loves himself too much now why I'm so wise why I'm so clever why I write such good books then why I'm destiny now in this way he uh, if we look at the last line in this way he expresses his hope that Dionysus Dionysus is the was the Roman god of uh, merrymaking wine harvesting so his cult normally um, you know his or his cult normally is associated with people who enjoy uh, pleasure of life so the God's life God of life's exuberance would replace Jesus the God of the heavenly other world as the premier cultural standard for future millennia so in the last paragraph we can say that the author is probably criticizing Nietzsche's view but he is not direct or explicit in his criticism so we can take a look at this passage as an analytical passage let's look at the first question what does the author mean by the term intellectual dynamite it's mentioned in the last paragraph we have to scan the passage for it and he says in this line he claims that he's a destiny because he regards his un anti moral truths as having the annihilating power of intellectual dynamite so if something has an annihilating power that means it can destroy ideas that create havoc by displacing pre-existing notions havoc also means disruption or disturbance or destruction but the word displacing is you know makes this option incorrect because here what he's talking about is notions which can uh, you know destroy ideas that shatter strong pre-existing notions now this one is the appropriate option if we look at the you know our last para and in questions like these where they are asked where the question setter asks you about a contextual meaning then you have to read one or two lines above it and one or two lines below it and from there you have to get your answer ideas that create public outrage is irrelevant because public outrage is not mentioned in this passage ideas that are uh, seldom received with optimism is also irrelevant hence B is the answer